हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सलोनी एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल कोडेरा सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल गेट टू नो हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर फॉर द इन्फोसिस ऑनलाइन रिटर्न टेस्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी द टेस्ट पेटर्न सिलेबस एंड द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द सिलेबस टॉपिक विद सम टिप्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो गाइज इन द इन्फोसिस सिलेक्शन प्रोसेस देर आर थ्री राउंड्स फर्स्ट इज ऑनलाइन रिटर्न टेस्ट second is technical interview and in the last there will be hr interview and in my previous video we have already discussed about the technical and hr interview questions with the tips to answer this question so if you didn't watch that videos so don't worry you will find the link in the description box now let's talk about the first round which is online written test so guys this is the test pattern for the online test so in this test you will find five section first is reasoning ability test which has 15 questions that you have to solve in 25 minutes second section is mathematical ability which consists of 10 question in 35 minutes third section is verbal ability test 20 question in 20 minute fourth section is pseudo code test 5 question 10 minute and the last section is puzzle solving test 4 question in 10 minutes so total 54 question you have to complete in 100 minutes and there is one important point is that there will be no negative marking for any question so first we will see the important topic which you should prepare for the reasoning ability test so the topics are puzzles blood relation alpha numeric series coding decoding mirror and water images clock script arithmetic questions direction sense setting arrangement and syllogisms now we will see the important topics from the mathematical ability or aptitude so the topics are percentage profit and loss time and work data interpretation simple interest or compound interest probability permutation and combination ratio and proportion speed time and distance problem on age and average and some important topic that you can prepare for the verbal ability test are reading comprehension sentence correction sentence completion one word substitution para jumbles analogy error correction and fill in the blank now the fourth section is pseudo code test so here we will see some example of pseudo code and we will also solve them so the first question is this and its answer is b that is zero now let's see how we will solve this question so here we have three variable a b and c where the initial value of a is 2 and b is 8 and in the third line we have to perform the xor operation between a and b so that's why we need to convert the decimal number into the binary number so the binary number for 2 will be 0010 and for b it will be 1000 now let's see how we can perform the xor operation so this is the table for xor operation so if both the input value will be same then the output will be 0 otherwise it will be 1 so when we will do xor for 2 and 8 we will get 1010 which is equivalent to 10 so now the value of c is 10 now in the next statement inside the if condition we have to perform xor for c and b so the xor of c and b will be 0010 which is equivalent to 2 which is a non zero number so the if condition will be true and that's why the value of b will be equal to 0 and in last when we will print b it will be 0 so that's why our answer is 0 Now the next question is this and its answer is 300. So let's see how we can solve this question. So the initial value for A is 20, B is 40 and C is 20. So our first operation is A plus C which is equal to 40. And this 40 will assign to A. So the updated value of A is equal to 40. Now our next operation is C plus A, which will be equal to sixty, and the sixty will assign to C. So the updated value for C is sixty. Now the third operation, which is A plus C, so the value of A plus C will be hundred, 
and it will get assigned to a so the updated value of a is 100 and in the fourth operation we have to add c plus a which is equivalent to 160 and in the last we have to print a plus b plus c so their sum will be 300 so this is how we can solve this question so now this is our next question and its answer is a which is 1 now let's see how we can solve this question so the initial value of a and b is 1 so here you can see that the third statement has two expression and in each expression we have to perform xor and and operation here one point to be noted is that we only need to solve only one expression because the value of a and b is same which is 1. So first let's perform the XOR operation for a and 1. So the binary value of a that means for 1 is 0, 0, 001 and obviously for 1 it also be 0, 0, 001. After the XOR the output will be 0, 0, 0, 0, which is equivalent to 0. Now we have to perform end operation between this output and 1. So this is the table for the end operation where you will get 0 as output if any one of the input is 0 otherwise the output will be 1. So when we will perform end operation the output will be again 0. So guys as we know that both the expressions are same so that the output will also be same that is 0. So the addition of 0 and 0 will be 0 and it will get assigned to a variable that is a. In last we have to add a and b. So the updated value of a is 0 and b is 1. So that's why the output will be 1. So guys the fifth section is puzzle code test. So in this section question may come from this three category which is number based pattern puzzles, visual reasoning style puzzles and the last is word puzzles. So now let's see one one example from each category. So the first category is number based pattern puzzle. So here you can see a diagram for the question and the question is what should best replace the question mark and the answer for this question is D which is 68. So now let's solve this question. So here first we will multiply these two numbers and then we will multiply these two numbers. And in last, we will add the result of both the multiplication. After that, we will get our final result. So this is how we have to do multiplication and addition for the first figure. And this is for the second figure. And this is for the last figure. So as a result, we will get 68. So this is how you can solve this question. Now the next question is from visual reasoning style puzzle. So to solve this question, you should have strong visualization skill. So the question is, find out which of the figure 1, 2, 3 and 4 can be formed from the pieces given in the figure X. So basically, here we have to join the shapes from the figure X in such a way that it should be equivalent to any one of the figure out of the given 4 figure. So the answer will be A. So here there is not any specific solution or way to solve this question. You only need to observe the figures and find out the answer. Now our last question is from the word puzzles. So the question may be something like this. Where again we have to replace the question mark. So if we look at the number places of these alphabets, then they will be something like this. So if you will look at the figure carefully, then you will observe that the sum of the opposite number is equivalent to 17. So opposite to 6, we need 11 to make it 17. So 11 is the number place of K alphabet. That's why the answer is K. So guys, that's all about this video. I hope this video will help you in your written round preparation. So guys, all the very best for your test. And if you like this video, so please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.